Welcome to Pre-Algebra with Miss Betsy. Today we're starting a new topic, it's statistics and probability. We'll be delving into the subject just at a very surface level. If you are using the same text I am, it looks like this. It's Pre-Algebra for Christian Schools, published by Bob Jones University Press. It is the first edition, and we are in Chapter 13, Section 13.1, on page 441. But before we get started on this very brief video, I'd like to know if you can tell me what you call a calf that gets into trouble. You call a calf that gets into trouble grounded beef. So, I've written some definitions on the board already here, and we're seeing what exactly is statistics. Well, statistics is a, is a branch of mathematics, and it deals with collecting and organizing and analyzing data. Statistics has lots of real-life, real-world applications in, in economics, in government, um, in engineering, in business practices. It's where you collect large amounts of information and you can look and see what trends are. You can you statistics is involved a lot in weather, uh, all of the weather professions. And then what we're going to talk about in today's video that honestly is going to be so very short. I know you guys are real excited about that. We have three things that they refer to as measures of central tendency. So you just need to be familiar with the idea that they're measures of central tendency. But what you have to know is these three words that I've written over here. We have mean, we have median, and we have mode. And all of these have to do with these measures of central tendency, but what the mean is, is it's just another word for average. If you're trying to calculate what your average is in a class that you're taking, and you know that you have taken three tests, and you got a, a 79, and you had an 86, and then you studied really hard, and you got a 94 on your last test, and you wanted to figure out what your class, what your average would be of those three classes, all of you, I would expect to know that the way to find the average of 79 plus 86 plus 94 would be to add those three numbers together and divide by three. And that's all a mean is. A mean is an average. To determine the mean, you add together all of the individual items, all of the individual pieces of data, and you divide that sum by the total number of pieces of <coughs> pieces of data. So what would what would we have here? Well, 86 and 94 is 180, and 79 is 259. We would divide that by three, 259. Divide by three, three eighths or 24. 19, and you have an 86.3% average-ish, which is about the score that you had right here on the second test. So what happened here, your 94 pulled up this lower grade. So you had an average of 86.3% in whatever this class was that you had three tests in, or in the vocabulary of statistics, what you would say is if you are given three numbers, 79, 86, and 94, and you're asked to calculate their mean, the mean of those three numbers would be 86.3. Or if we rounded it to the nearest whole number, the mean would be 86. So see right there, you already know how to do one-third of your chapter. Mean is nothing but average. Now, median, think of what medians are now. Depending on what part of the country you, you're in, you may not use median like we do here in Texas, but median is that strip on, on a divided highway someplace that goes right down through the middle of the road. And that's what a median is when we're, when we're talking statistically. Median is just the middle number. You line up all of those numbers in numerical order, and you find the one that's in the middle. Or it's like finding that balancing point of a seesaw. So we have these three numbers here, these three scores, 79, 86, and 94. 
I happened to go ahead and arrange those in numerical order already. So the middle number now is the median. So the median of these three numbers is 86 as well. It is strictly coincidental. I did not make these numbers work out as I was just randomly coming up with three numbers to calculate a mean of. The mean is the average. The, middle, the median is just the number that happens to be right there in the middle. And then finally, what is the mode? A mode is you have a list of numbers and it is extremely rare for you to do much statistical analysis of three pieces of data. And why would that be? Because you don't have enough possible, possible results out there to analyze. But when you have a mode, if you're doing temperature or grades or failure rates, which is something my husband analyze, analyzes in uh, the work that he does for uh, the government, he, government, he anal analyzes failure rates of these per particular parts that are in some of the weapons that we use. Um, but the mode is going to be the number that occurs most frequently. And you can have more than one mode, and you might also have no mode. We have 79, 86, 94. Not one of those numbers is used more than once, so you would say that there is no mode. And that's really all that's involved in this first section here. Talking about the mean, which is the average of a collection of numbers, the median, which is that middle number, <coughs> and you're only going to have an actual middle number if you have an odd number of pieces of data. If you have an even number of pieces of data, you're going to have two middle numbers, and at that point, you're going to find the average of those two numbers, and that will be your median. Then your mode is the number that occurs, number or numbers that occur most frequently. So let me just go ahead and walk through an actual example here from our text. And you'll see that section 13.1 homework, it's difficult to get much easier than this. What we have is a chart here, and what we've done is we've recorded the temperature for a week daily. And we want to take that week's worth of data and we want to analyze it. So let's just start. We have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And on Monday, the temperature was 25 degrees. And it was actually 28 just up the road from me today in North Texas. And it is April 15th, which is a month past our freeze date. So we just have really strange weather here in North Texas. 29 degrees, 25 degrees, 22 degrees, and... 19 degrees. So we've collected a week's worth of data and we want to determine what our average temperature is for the week, which would be our mean temperature. We want to find what our median temperature is, which is that temperature that's right there in the middle. And we want to find the mode. We want to see which temperature occurs most frequently. To find the mean, you're going to add all seven all of that, all of those pieces of data together, and you're going to come up with a sum, which I'm not going to do because you guys know how to add numbers together. And we have 161 is the sum of all of the temperature readings that we took for that entire week. Now, in order to find the mean, we're going to divide by the total number of readings we took. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 161 divided by 7 gives us and an average temperature or mean temperature of 23 degrees. Make sure that you show your labels. So the mean temperature for the week, or the average temperature for the week, was 23 degrees. Now we wanted to be able to find the, um, find the median. In order to find the median, we have to arrange this data in ascending order. So we have, let me write here, median. 
we begin with 19, 20, 21, 22, 25, 25, and 29. Hopefully I've got seven numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have seven numbers and I'm going to go ahead and determine what the median is. The median is the middle number. We have seven numbers, so we're going to have one number in the middle and three numbers on either side. So we have our middle number here. Our median temperature for the week, for the middle one, was 22. Now in the real life world of temperature, I have no idea what, why we would care what number was in the middle. You know, this is an area of statistics that has meaning as you get into more specific areas and you, under, and you apply it into some very particular circumstances. Now we want to know what the mode is. And we want to see, in order to determine the mode, you simply look at your collection of data. And when you have it arranged in numerical order, your mode is just going to jump out at you. Because you see here that the only number that repeats is 25. 25, a temperature of 25 was recorded twice that week, so your mode is 25. That's all that's involved in calculating mean, median, and mode. So, uh, go ahead and work through these problems. If perchance you have difficulties with them, go ahead and give me a give me a holler, and I'll help you with it. But the, I can tell you that the only things that you're really going to want to want to be on the lookout for is with the median. If you have an even number of items, you don't have to take the average of the the middle two numbers to come up with your median, and with your mode. Sometimes there's not a mode. There could be no mode. There can be one mode, like we had here, 25. But suppose we also had 19. Now at this point, the median messes up. If we had 19 here, we have a second number that is used twice. So rather than having a mode of 25, the mode would be 19 and 25. So those are really the only differences that you're going to be looking for in this section. So, get that work done, and I will see you next time.